Hi everyone, um, welcome back. It's been a very, very long time since I recorded a YouTube video and you know, we missed you. It's just been a really busy 2021 in a good way, but we're back and we're gonna continue um, producing new content for you guys. Um, but basically today, I think it was um, always my intention to do this video. It took a long time because it took a long time for Daphne to actually um, heal, be cured completely and be cleared, I guess, of hookworm. So today's video, we're gonna talk about hookworm. We're gonna talk about what it is, what is hookworm, how did my dog get it, or does my dog ha have it, and how do I know that, and how to fix it, which is the most important part. And basically, the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of greyhounds, I would say the vast majority, especially in the United States, I'm not sure about other countries, have drug resistant hookworm. This is why it is such a huge problem and basically the generic medication out there, the generic dewormers out there that other dogs use like Interceptor, um, what's another big one? Probably Frontline or other brands, they're not gonna do the trick for your dog, for your greyhound, if your greyhound has drug resistant hookworm. That is what Daphne had and yeah, it takes a really long time to get over it. It really takes months and months and months, sometimes even years for some dogs. So this is a marathon, not a sprint, and you really have to take it seriously. The first question is, what is hookworm? Do you know what hookworm is? Do you? She doesn't know what hookworm is, but she definitely had it. <laughs> um, so hookworm is a parasite that is, um, very, very small, too small for the naked human eye to actually see. So hookworm is a parasite that sucks blood inside our dog's small intestines. So it is a horrible thing. And if it's very, very severe, what's going to happen is your dog is going to have anemia or, you know, they're de definitely going to have some severe gastrointestinal issues. So basically that's what hookworm is. You don't want it in your dog. Secondly, how do I know if my dog has hookworm? The real only way to know is by getting your dog on a fecal test and make sure that when you request the fecal test that you don't say, oh, just, you know, for anything, anything like Giardia or whatever, but actually just make sure you identify, I really want to test my dog whether they have hookworm or not, because they may have to use different techniques to see whether they have hookworm. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it, it, it's not going to, you're not going to lose out by telling your vet that I think my dog may or may not have hookworm or I just want to check that my dog doesn't have hookworm. So just mention it when you take the fecal stool sample to your vet. Um, would you like to be on the camera? Yeah, we're, we're recording right now. So um, how else would you know whether your dog, dog has hookworm? Um, there are some symptoms that we experienced. Uh, and the first thing is, I really noticed a lot that she had a very grumbly, loud tummy. So a lot of the time you, I would be sitting at my desk doing work, work from home like a lot of you guys are doing as, as well. I can hear her tummy grumbling from my seat. It's really loud and um, that's not normal. And another symptom that I saw when it was really bad, when, when it was really bad in Daphne was uh, in her poop, <laughs> you're going to see some really weird poop. Um, and what I mean by that is sometimes it was very mucusy, like it was like her poop was encased. This is a lot of information, but her poop was encased in like a gel, in like a mucus membrane. Um, that's definitely not normal. When you see the stool, you'll notice like this is definitely not normal. <laughs> so that's another one. And of course, just continuous diarrhea type stuff. But really the best way to tell is you really need to take a fecal test. So how does my dog even get hookworm? How did they get it in the first place? Um, it is common in kind of crowded, overcrowded, unsanitary conditions where there are lots of dogs. And you know, that is the case at a lot of racing tracks across the US and probably in different countries. Um, so this is a greyhound problem. Uh, not a lot of other breeds that I know have drug-resistant hookworm. Um, so yeah, 
that's that's generally you know uh, an environment where parasites like hookworm and probably a lot of other parasites tend to flourish and have a great life and specifically how do dogs get it you know uh, this parasite usually comes from the larvae that are traveling through the mom's milk so she probably had it when she was born you know this poor thing or even while she was in the uterus of her her greyhound mom and it's just such a vicious cycle whoever whatever dogs have this hookworm they poop it comes out in the poop it's out on the track or in the yard or wherever the, the dogs are exercising or having playtime and the dogs step all over it then they lick their paws and they ingest hookworm and they get infected as well so you know through larvae through the dirt um they're getting this <laughs> so likely that they didn't get it in your own home but i guess those points are really important i don't have a yard because i live in new york city in an apartment building but it's really important to pick up your dog's poop especially when you know that they have parasites or especially dog resistant hookworm because if other dogs step on it or humans step on it and dogs eventually ingest it then they will also be infected with this parasite so very important to clean up your yard if you have one if you live out in the suburbs because um, your other dogs may be infected through your greyhound that is already infected with hookworm so that brings me to my next and most important point of how do you treat drug resistant hookworm in greyhounds or i guess in dogs but the proven methods for treating drug resistant hookworm in greyhounds i know of two and one is Drontal Plus. Drontal Plus is a prescription medication that your vet can prescribe for your dog and it's just like a horse pill. It is this massive pill, you put it in their food and they're gonna take it. The reason why Drontal Plus did not work for us, it worked for my next door neighbor's dog, Sophia. She's also a greyhound. She came um, from a different racetrack in the US and Daphne is from Florida. And basically, um, that Drontal Plus is a really quick fix. You know, uh, it's it's expensive. I think from memory, one tablet was like thirty-seven dollars or something like that. Um, and you you, it's not gonna work with just one pill. You need multiple pills. And the reason why it didn't work for Daphne was, it made her crazy. <laughs> she usually, you know, sleeps eighteen hours a day. And when I gave her the Drontal Plus, she basically could not sleep for twenty-four to thirty hours. And it was very difficult for me because she was she was basically like a dog that had drunk a lot of uh, Red Bull. She could not sleep. She was panting. She was staring at me. Her pupils had dilated. And I had to walk her about seven times that day. Yeah, so that was really tough. Drontal Plus may work for your dog. So don't cross it out. Don't eliminate it. That is just one of the treatments that are known out there to help um, drug resistant hookworm in greyhounds. So the way that we fixed it, um, there, I call her an expert, Dr. Jennifer Eng. Um, Jennifer, normal regular spelling, her, her last name is NG, and she is located in South Carolina right now. And she has seen a lot of greyhounds who are drug resistant, and she prescribes a, a concoction of three different drugs, and they all have a specific. Um, I guess, a uh, feature or chemical in them that helps fight this drug resistant hookworm. And those three drugs is, the one is the Purintel Pamwet. This, this is the Purintel Pamwet. She's 63 pounds. And according to this um, table, the dosage table, she is meant to only take one teaspoonful. Just don't overdose your dog on that the way that my adoption agency advised me to do. So Purintel Pamoid. The second one is Moxidectin, and that is found in Advantage Multi Plus. Please make sure you don't get the normal Advantage Multi. You have to get the Advantage Multi Plus. And this is also a prescription medication. There it is. And yeah, it says that, you know, what it has in there, the active um, substances, imidacloprid and moxidectin. 
So this is a once a month topical solution. Um, in her research papers, it says that there is no reason why you need to give more than once a month for this. Um, and you know, I would recommend, and she recommends also that even if your dog no longer has hookworm, um, after they've been fecal tested and they've passed the test, they're clear of hookworm, you should just continue using this as the regular dewormer for your greyhound. So thank you, Bea. Like this really helped us because without this, I don't know what I would have given Daphne to get her, you know, off, off this hookworm. And the third thing is, um, I really have trouble saying it. I guess it's fenbendazole. Fenbendazole. So the three things that we I just mentioned is fenbendazole, moxidectin, and pyrantel pamwet. And the fenbendazole you find in Panicure C. Um, and Panicure, you can you know order it from Chewy wherever you need to, but I just got mine from Amazon. And with Daphne's weight of 63 pounds, she needed six grams. So you would buy. So what I did was I bought the um, two gram packets and the four gram packets, and you have to give it to them three days in a row. So how did I actually give her these three different medications? Um, I didn't give it all to her in one day also because she has a little bit of a sensitive stomach and I didn't want her to get you know diarrhea on the runs and you know as a dog mom it's really painful to see your dog you know suffering through this um, but basically what I did was I would give the Panicure um, the six grams in one day second day third day so all three sachets of um, that product was consumed by her and then the Pirantel Pamwet, that's the one that she was really sensitive on That's really the thing that gave her diarrhea. I would give it to her like four days after um, and With the Advantage Multi, I would just give it, you know Either at the same time I give her the Panicure or a couple days before um, What Dr. Jennifer Eng actually recommended was you can give it to the dog all in one simultaneous uh, run uh, obviously with the panicure you have to do it three days in a row um, but you, it depends on how sensitive your dog's stomach is and I would highly 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 recommend you know this should be in your back pocket anyway most of the time get them a prebiotic which helps with the digestion, especially when you're giving them all of these dewormers. So I'll put the one that I use in the link below. I found it so helpful and it just, it, it really helps her. Um, but that's how we, we triumphed <laughs> over hookworm. So we did that um, properly after having the failure with just using the Pirantil Pamwet, probably for about eight months, six to seven months. And then, you know, that's because it just takes a while. You know, these hookworms are so stubborn and they just keep, they, they have this cycle, you know, they just keep um, cycling in. It says for, it takes two to three weeks to complete and it, the whole cycle just keeps starting all over again. So you have to be so diligent about it. Um, don't let your guard down. And basically, you know, she has been cleared with that fecal exam, but I'm constantly monitoring her just in case I hear more grumbling or I see any weird stool, you know, um, and I'll probably take another fecal test in about four months, just to, just a hundred percent, 200 percent check that she really does not have hookworm. So yeah, it is not a fun journey. Finally, we got over it and I know that you will as well. Um, this worm must be killed. <laughs> so really be diligent. You got this. We can all get rid of drug resistant hookworm together and all the best. Um, please let me know if this video was helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe. We are almost at 1000 subscribers. I appreciate everyone watching this so, so much. I didn't realize that so many people would find this helpful. You can also follow us or follow her on Instagram, um, Daphne underscore D-E underscore Dogue, D-O-G-U-E, like the magazine Vogue. Um, and we will see you so, so soon. So good to see you. Have a great day time, great week, uh, wherever you are, and God bless.